Hello everyone, welcome back to Fumi Solutions TV. It is all about style, faith, media and marriage. It is all about bringing the real life situations to change the lives of people. In today's video, I'll be bringing you the video of what happened between Nollywood actress Empress Ijama and her ex-boyfriend. Um, this is a case of blackmailing the ex-boyfriend releasing her videos to the WhatsApp to people. Please take a moment to watch this video to the end. Do not fall for blackmailing. Anyone can find themselves in this situation. Nollywood actress Empress Ijama tells her story with confidence. What she went through in the hand of her ex-boyfriend. How she met her ex-boyfriend. Her ex-boyfriend came into the country newly and narrated that he lost his items. So she was there for him. She gave large sum of money to him to settle down. And that was how they started their relationship with the hope that she has found a new love. Not knowing that uh, the new love is not a genuine love. At the point, the man came to live with her in a house. But the man took over her belongings took over her possessions including her instagram page manipulating her started beating her the man would beat her and took take her to the hospital uh, she couldn't narrate her story to anyone because the, the man was threatening her because the man has a uh, videos you mean the videos of a natural being yeah. <laughs> so it got to a point that she couldn't take it again after the man beat her on her birthday that she managed to call her brother to pick her up when she ran out of the house and fell into the gutter and her family is there with her right now they are taking care of her some of her friends are with her they are helping her out but the main lesson that she want everyone to know is that to everyone that are going through the same thing they need to speak up they need to seek help that she discovered that her ex-boyfriend has a lot of videos of other people with him and she is um, advising them to speak up because she knows them she saw their videos but she couldn't mention their name. So this is a lesson for everyone, a lesson to all of us, married or single, please never practice um, this new act now that is going around that never allow anyone to video you in your vulnerable state. People can get mad or get angry about something and the love that they have can fin they vanish for you so when the love vanish how do you want to cope with this type of situation please and please like, like i do advise everyone don't say love is blind never get carried away with love love can initiate relationship but love cannot keep relationship till the end because the two personalities in relationship needs to continuously working on the relationship so that they can keep it but when someone is taking building and someone is dropping there is no way the relationship can be built stronger so when the love vanish the, the Everything that you both have done together can turn to something that can be haunting both of you. In this situation now, the past experience of Lollywood actress Empress Ijama is, uh, is, is shaking. And the, the, it's shaking. She needs up. She needs up. My question here is that, is it that the ex-boyfriend of uh, video recording recording her without her consent or is it that the ex-boyfriend intentionally recorded her without her consent to blackmail her or did she give a consent to her ex-boyfriend to be videoing her all the same no matter what either she give her consent or she, the the videos were recorded without her consent 
the act is a act that is not good. It's not what people outside should encourage. It's not what people outside should engage. Please and um, please, tomorrow, tomorrow may be too late for you to get yourself back. Because this situation now, she needs a lot of help to get through this process and to heal. It is not easy to heal through something like this that you remember every day of your life and you look back and you'll be wondering why, why you, why you, why you. Please and um, please to all lovers out there, if you find yourself in an abusive relationship, please speak up. S seek help in the right corner. Please never be too afraid to tell your parents or your siblings. Within the family, you will have someone that you can confide in. Please, as early as possible, confide in someone that can help you get through the problem. Confide in someone that can help you heal. Confide in someone that can give you the right mind. Because when people are facing trouble, they may not be able to think right. They may not be able to express themselves. They may not be able to make the right decision. Please and um, please let us watch out every relationship, even as married in 2023. Let's make sure that we are doing things right. And to every one of us, let's be very, very careful. And let us fear God. Let's fear God because we have power one way or the other. Let us not be exercising the power that we have in a negative way on our no on our in our relationship to our friends and to our partner please it is very important let us love each other unconditionally and love each other genuinely let's not be going to relationship because of benefit because of what we can get out of it because of what we can make because of exploitation please and um, please and to everyone out there um I can see that this is a big lesson, a big lesson for everyone. But Empress in Jama, what I can tell you is that at this moment, be strong, be strong. This phase will soon be over. Be very, very strong. Do what makes you happy. If it is dancing, if it is listening to music, if it is about visiting new places, please do something to get yourself.